In this video, we're going to talk about mapping controller keys to the performance panel functions. You can use either your computer's keyboard, or you can use a standard MIDI or USB controller keyboard. I'll begin by demonstrating how to assign keys using your computer's keyboard. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is click on the MIDI button over here, and you'll see all this turns purple. To assign a key to a particular function, you just click on it. So, for example, let's say I want to assign a key to my set selection here. You can see it gets a darker purple. And I'm going to press the 1 key. And then over here, I'll click on this one and press 2 on my computer keyboard. And over here, press 3 on my computer keyboard. And when you're done assigning keys, click the MIDI button again. Now when I press the number 1 key on my computer's keyboard, this set begins. And if I press the 2 key, this set begins. Or the 3 key. Remember that you can use the key assign functionality for a lot of things. You can assign keys to individual clips, or the stop buttons, or arming, or soloing, or muting, or the transport down below. You can also use the key assign functionality with a MIDI or USB keyboard controller. Here I'm going to assign keys using my keyboard controller. I'm going to press a C5, D5, and E5. And then I'm going to use another octave to assign the stop buttons over here. And you can even assign individual clips. So now I'll click the MIDI button off. I'm going to use C5, D5, and E5 to control these sets right here. And then I'm going to use the C4 keys to hit these stop buttons. Then I'm going to use the C6 key to start this clip, and D6 to move to this one, and E6 to move to this one. Remember that you can use this functionality with any MIDI or USB controller. Anything with MIDI assignable buttons can be used with the performance panel.